All right, today we are going to be talking about evaluating absolute values. And I know absolute value is probably a new term for some of us. So we're going to first introduce absolute value, and then we're actually going to be solving problems with absolute value. And then um, the next few days, we will go through how to solve equations um, and for variables with absolute value. All right, I would have this written down in your notes. I know it kind of seems like a lot, but I think all of it's kind of beneficial here. Absolute value is the distance a number is away from zero. Okay, so it seems pretty self-explanatory. Okay, looking over at these number lines I have on the right-hand side of the screen, I notice that we have the number six here, and the distance six is away from zero is obviously one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that would mean the absolute value of six is just six, because it's six units away from zero. And then looking at my bottom one here, what happens when we have a negative number? For example, we have negative 8. Okay, well, negative 8 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units away from 0. Notice I did not say that it is negative 8 away from 0. Okay, because when we're talking absolute value, we're talking distance, and distance is always always positive. Okay, so that means when we're talking absolute value, we're always going to get a positive answer out of it. Okay, so negative 8 is 8 units away from 0. So the absolute value of negative 8 is just 8. Okay, I have a few more examples written over on the left-hand side of the screen. If I'm asking for the absolute value of 5, well, 5 is 5 units away from 0. Okay? And if I'm asking for the absolute value of negative 7, okay, it is 7 units away from 0. Okay? You, this is how you would write an absolute value. Okay? We use these absolute value bars. Okay? They're um, like parentheses, but they're straight up and down. They're longer than like the number 1. Okay, so you have to make sure when you're writing absolute value okay, that you're not just writing it like the same size as the number one because here it just looks confusing. Okay, so make sure you're getting them a little longer okay, or a little thicker, whatever works for you, um, to demonstrate absolute value. Okay, so pause this if you need to finish writing this down. All right, I recommend writing down pretty much every single problem we go through today, okay, which I know it seems like a lot, but you never know when one of these might show up on a test or a quiz or your homework. We're going to start with the absolute value of 6, okay, well, 6 is 6 units away from 0, okay, so we have 6 as our answer. Letter B, notice that I'm adding a couple absolute values together. I have the absolute value of 4, which I'm just going to write below it that it's just 4 to remind myself. And then the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. Okay, so all I'm doing is adding 4 plus 4 together, and I get 8. Right here I have multiple absolute values. Okay, I'm going to go through and do all the absolute values individually like I did above. Well, the absolute value of negative 7 is just 7. The absolute value of 2 is just 2. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. Okay, so now that the absolute values are gone, I'm going to bring down these signs here. So I have 7 minus 2 and 2 plus 1. Okay, so my answer, I have 7 minus 2, which is 5, and then plus 1, I get 6. Okay, so the absolute value of negative 7 minus the absolute value of 2 plus the absolute value of negative 1 should give us a positive 6. Letter D, the absolute value of negative 5 is just 5. Letter E, the absolute value of 9, I'm going to write that below it so I don't forget. And then the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. And then I'm subtracting them in between. 9 minus 5 is 4. 
Last one on this screen, we have the absolute value of negative 13, which is just 13. The absolute value of negative 7 is just 7. So we get 20 for our answer, is 13 plus 7. All right, next, very similar to the last screen. Okay, again, I would write these down in your notes. Okay, we have the absolute value of 10. That's an easy one, just 10. I'm going to move over to number 30 here. Okay, absolute value of 4 is just 4. Absolute value of negative 4 is just 4. And I'm going to bring down that plus sign that's in between them. So I get 8. Over here for number 31, I get 9 for that absolute value, and I get 5 for this one. Then there's subtraction in between. Okay, so I get 4 for my answer for number 31. Number 32, notice 0 is not in an absolute value, so that just stays the same. Right, and the absolute value of negative 1 is just 1, so my final answer is 1. 0 plus 1. Number 33, I have the absolute value of negative 6, which is 6. Absolute value of negative 5, which is 5. So I get 11. Number 34, I have the absolute value of negative 8. And then I'm subtracting in the middle there. The absolute value of negative 8 is 8. 8 minus 8, I get 0. Absolute value of 12 is 12. The absolute value of 3, negative 3, is 3. So I get 15. Number 36, the absolute value of negative 15 is 15. Absolute value of 6 is 6. So 15 minus 6, I get 9. Last one on this screen, net absolute value of negative 13 is positive 13. Absolute value of negative 7 is positive 7, so I get 20. Oops, I ran out of room here. All right, I want to go through a couple like this. What happens when we have multiple numbers inside the absolute value? I, I always tell my students to do what's inside the absolute value first, okay? So do the subtraction first. So 8 minus 6, okay? Just like you would inside parentheses, okay? So I actually get 2 inside my absolute value, okay? So now I can evaluate, well, what's the absolute value of positive 2 is just 2. Then number 2, Okay, again, do what's on the inside first. So I get the absolute value of 1 minus 10. Well, 1 minus 10 is just negative 9. And then I do the absolute value after. So the absolute value of negative 9 is 9. Number 3, okay, again, compute what's on the inside of the absolute value first. Negative 4 minus 3. So I have negative 7 on the inside, okay, which ends up just being positive 7. And last one here, we have negative 3 minus 5. Okay, negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. And then I do the absolute value of negative 8, which is 8. Okay, I recommend having these ones written down.